Everybody, it's Evictus. Time to the Eden Renier, the Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. I hope your Wednesday is going off to a good start. I know mine is because we got another like streak tally down on the mark. Now only eight away from kicking off TM Trainer Month, which I'm sure is going to be a blast for everybody. <clears throat> for me, I don't know. It's always it's always iffy, man. But like you know, TM Trainer always throws that little bit of wrinkle in the in the mix that is terrifying, but also sometimes works out in our favor in crazy, crazy ways. So here's your meme of the day slash amazing picture of the day sent in here by Matthias Mann. Tyler throws, I don't know how much I owe Sinvicta for childcare, but it's a lot. Guaranteed nap time for my four month old. And that is just, that is about the most wholesome thing I could possibly think of. It's just, just looking, looking at a four month old watching my videos. It's, it's so surreal, but so it's such an honor to be a babysitter like that. So thank you very much, Matthias, man, and everyone who upvoted that one. I had a lot of replies on it, too. Go check it out on the Sinvicta subreddit, slash r, slash Sinvicta. Seed day is going to be 3-4, uh, Quebec Romeo, Lima 3, V, Lima 3, Victor Papa. Dude, I'm, there's too many threes. Oh, my gosh. Our damage and tears are insane. Um, we have Echo Dama, which I'm not a huge fan of, mainly because it tends to, like, bring enemies towards Isaac. Especially ones that are chasing him. Um, but, I mean, I guess it could be worse. It could always be worse, of course. Uh, but our stats, though, outside of our movement speed and shot speed, our stats are actually quite good. Now, we're starting with the golden teleporter, which you know what that means. That means we're going to be going for some error rooms. We're going to be going for some devil deals, maybe even some angel deals. Uh, if we can manage it. Um, now, obviously, if we don't have any bombs or anything like that, or any way to access the secret rooms or don't have enough full charges, all that can get thrown for a loop, which is the reason why the the Golden Teleporter, while it is good, it's not an automatic take uh, for me anymore. It used to be, but they're just it, the value kind of falls off there if you're not able to guarantee at least, at the very, very least, a devil deal. Um, that's where you don't you don't really have have that that value of getting like offense, defense, HP, et cetera, et cetera, from a space for item when we could be just giving ourselves HP, for example, with like the Satanic Bible or Book of Revelations or something like that. But, oh, it's Curse the Blind too. I didn't realize that. Well, we all know what happens uh, when we take Curse the Blind, don't we? Yeah. Yeah, we get that 4D experience and uh, not wanting to repeat the pro... Not wanting to repeat the process, uh... I'm only going to be walking into the item room and not taking it. If you don't know what I'm talking about, and you don't know what the 4D experience is, then uh, you need to go watch the, the previous episode, because boy, howdy. Now, this is one scenario where Akodama, you think, would help us out quite a lot, which it does, but if anything gets trapped in the, like, the circle that you make naturally just from like retreating, it will immediately start launching things towards Isaac. Like, anything that gets caught in there that is not, like, dead within the first couple of hits. Um, and that's a problem, for me, anyway. Yeah, a, a blind, a blind, uh, spike-locked item. No thank you. We'll take Guppy's head. Now, I know that I just got, just got done saying how I wasn't going to take... Oh, okay. I wasn't going to take any blind items, uh, but... A cursed room item, I'm willing to take a take a risk on, because uh, I know that I know it's only going to be good. It's not true at all. It normally can be good. So we get old Dookie, and somehow we end up getting hit by one of those flies, even though it was behind Aquadama. Go figure. Get magic eight ball, which is great because we needed shot speed. Moon card gets us into the secret room. So if we can find the super secret room, which is going to be a really really tough ask. On this floor, we can get into the devil deal. Now, obviously, the problem is that it's a blind it's a blind floor. So I'm not going to use the moon card on this floor. Um, we're just simply going to concede that we're not going to get a devil room or a devil deal or a um, an I am error room, and we're just going to head on down the next flow. That's 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 what's happening. Um, but it does set us up for success on the next floor, which will hopefully result in us getting an I am error room. Obviously, that's the goal because you can get so many benefits out of there. It's just a matter of actually, like, you know, doing the entire full clear. And I mean full, full clear. First, the unknown. So, going over last week's question of the episode, which, of course, was the Greed Army episode, where we just had Friend Finder and just steamrolled Greed. 
Um, the most upvoted comment came in from Phantom Menace five four zero seven, who said, "Question of the episode or question of the day: How many hours does it say you have logged in in Steam uh, playing Isaac?" So I checked it before I started recording this, and uh, the Steam total says it's just over uh, fifty six hundred hours in Isaac in in Rebirth, Rebirth, Repentance, Afterbirth Plus, the whole new era of uh, of Isaac. That's where. That's how many hours it says that I have, which is a lot. <laughs> um, I am going to risk a bomb here just to get some nickels. Now, I think that I progressed fairly well in the first like thousand hours or so of playing Isaac. I mean, it's it's such a blur, man. Like it, you really like it's hard to quantify how much time I've spent in this game in my in my life. And 5,600 hours, how many how many years is that? Or how many days is that? Let's see. Uh, let's see, 50, 5,600 uh, divided by 24 hours, it's 233 days. So it's almost, it's about two thirds of a year almost, give or take, of just playing this game in on Steam. It's just straight. <laughs> so that's a, it seems like a long time, but when you talk about the, over the span of, you know, what, 10 years now? Almost 10 years, that's, I think it's a fair, that's a fair good amount of progression there. It's a lot, a lot of time. Some people, some people would think that I would have like 10,000 hours. Other people would think I have like 2,000 hours. I don't know why you would ever think that, but um, yeah. So that's what Steam says. I probably have a little bit more um, if you include the, obviously if you include Vanilla Isaac and everything like that. No. It, it, that is a trap here. Um, although, well, and it's hard for me to pass up. I mean, five, five keys for 15 cents is always going to be a good idea. It's always going to work out. Um, I really want a soul heart since I don't know how much HP we have. I know that we just bought one, but if we're going to take a devil deal here, we need to make sure we've got the HP for it. Remember, we already have a guppy item, which means that we're probably going to be locked out of all guppy items from here on out. But yeah. Yeah, I've got a I've got a pretty good amount of, of time in this game. I think the only game that easily surpasses Isaac for me in terms of game in terms of game hours, ooh, that's gonna be that could be spicy. Um, is is WoW, of course. World of Warcraft easily easily trounces the fifty six hundred some odd hours that I have in Isaac. Easily. I mean, I've, I've got when when we're talking like a, like two thirds of a year on Isaac, give or take. What is that? What that's going to bother me now? That's I'm making an estimation. Sorry about all the pausing, by the way. But uh, that was two hundred and thirty three point three three days. Yeah, so that's it's almost two thirds. It's, it's about sixty four percent of an entire year. Um, when we're talking about like sixty four percent of a year. Uh, World of Warcraft has multiple years of playtime for me. I mean, that's like sitting down on the computer playing for years straight. Wow, easily, easily beats all that. If we can find the super secret room, if we can find the super secret room, we can get into the I Mare room because we're guaranteed a devil deal here. The reason why I said that it was spicy when I saw the Soul of the Lost is because that means that we can guarantee take a Devil Deal item. We get more movement speed, or some movement speed, which is what I needed. And, yeah, we definitely take Sack Dagger here with the Soul of the Lost. Absolutely. Okay, so now we have to find the Super Seeker Room. We could try to roll for a full charge, or we could just try to YOLO it and maybe get the Super Seeker Room here. Oh, baby. Now, how did I know it was there? I didn't. That was a total, total guess. Educated guess. So this guarantees that we're going to be able to go into the I'm Air room, which I'm going to do after... No, I'll do it now. And we get Papula Duplex, which is fine because it gives us Spectral Tears, and I'm A-OK -okay with that. So if you don't know what just happened there, by the way, and I apologize for not explaining the, the strategy there... Um, the Soul of the Lost turns you into the Lost. And what you can do is, if you don't have enough HP for a Devil Deal, but you happen to have a Soul of the Lost on hand, what you can do is you can basically just use it to take one Devil Deal. Um, remember, as the regular Lost, not Tainted Lost, but as a regular Lost, you're only guaranteed to take one Devil Deal. That's it. 
They have to pick and choose. But with the Soul of the Lost, you can do easily the same thing. You're not going to get dinged for the HP. And you simply just lose the other Devil Dew items. But in this case, where we didn't have enough HP to, to get one of the Devil Dew items, that allows us to take one for essentially free. Which is good, because we needed to take one for the Devil Dew precedent, because we're trying to get Guppy. And Sack Dagger is obviously going to be a big benefit to us in the early game here. And then we end up getting Papula Duplex, which is even better, because now we have Sack Dagger. And on top of that, we got ourselves some essentially free Spectral Tears, which is real nice. That's real nice. So, yeah, if you ever find yourself with a Devil Deal, but you don't have enough HP, but you just so happen to have Soul of the Lost for some odd reason, then uh, you can take it for free. You can, but remember, you can only take one. Because you're technically the Lost at that point. One of those little gameplay gameplay tidbits that you can uh, use to you know just a, it's a little bit of a I don't want to say advanced but it's a little bit of a higher strategy can you take me higher it's a, that's like 90 year old Scott Stapp uh, lost soul buddy versus fat on mushroom we just got done getting a speed upgrade But it is damage, though, and as you can see, our damage is very quickly falling off here. Uh, but the movement speed down is what has me a little bit concerned. So I'm not guaranteeing that we're going to get Lost Soul, buddy. Check him out now. Um, but maybe. Okay, thought it was there. I'm not going to use our only bomb because I don't know if we're going to get another bomb here. And we need to make sure... That we uh, have a full charge on on deck, ready to go for the devil deal. That was a great block. Two great blocks by Sack Dagger. And yeah, this is exactly what I'm talking about with our movement speed. If we had lower movement speed, we would have absolutely got rung up multiple times in that room. So I think we're going to have to go Lost Soul, buddy. Check him out now. Um, but we'll see. Not in a fantastic spot right now. <laughs> in terms of stats or anything. Ease and money is always going to be useful. I saw that Eternal Fly rotating way too late. This room is legit kind of bad. Now that, we ha now that we got the green champion out, it's not bad at all, but very beginning is a little bit sketch. A little sketchy. So, Super Secret Room is most likely to the east of this room. It's me. It could be up here, but I'd be surprised. Yeah. Let's fight the boss now. Let's see if we get a Devil Deal, because that's going to alleviate the pressure of us getting a... Uh, getting a full charge now but the problem is it's still the same problem that we had in the last floor we don't have the hp for this so if i wanted to take a devil deal now i would have needed to go get fat on mushroom which i didn't but if we're going to take lost soul buddy i can't take lost soul buddy till we're done with this floor because he's probably going to die as he always does bambino just punch our he did okay apparently that counts as isaac's hitbox because of course it does Got lucky and got an HP upgrade. Get D Bizzle. Oh, Rizzle. Okay, so what we need to do now is we need to go into the cursed room and then use the golden teleporter to get out. Now, the most important thing about this whole thing is finding the super secret room. We know it can't be in here because this is a skinny room. Can't be here because that wall is blocked. Could be there, which is the most likely spot for it. No, it can't be here. So I'm going to say it's here. It could be there as well, but I'd be a little bit more surprised. I shouldn't have used that last bomb without at least checking this, this lone room over here. Yeah, so it's not going to be off of, off of the mini boss room. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use 
We're going to use the golden teleporter to get out of here. This is going to take us to the super secret room. Yeah, I would have never found that. Would have never, ever found that. Not with the amount of bombs that we had. So now all we need is one full charge, and we can get, uh, we can get into uh, the uh, I am air room. But the problem is that we don't have a full charge, and we're not going to be able to get one. Unless we somehow get flying, which we can't, because we can't get that. Um, and this is only a mini charge over here. So unless there's one inside of the chest, probably foobar on this. It's worth it to open up the golden chest more so than the steel chest. And we got ourselves a... E-Bizzle gave us a soul heart and eternal heart. You know what? I'll take it. So, and yeah, I think we just take Lost Soul Buddy and skedaddle on out of here. Unless there's a hangman card. Is there a possibility for a hangman card in this shop? No, but we can get... Mr. Mizzle. Is he a god? Is he a genius? Are you kidding me, game? Leave it to Isaac to ruin good strategies. Yeah, so only in Isaac where it, where you will you'll come up with a strategy on the fly that seemingly will work and it does work and then the game just says no. Sorry, he has to put the battery down before it registers. Okay. Whatever you say, game. Oh no, last soul buddy, oh no. Finally get to take something out of our item room other than Lost Soul Buddy, which is already dead. Thank you, D-Bizzle. So irritated at the fact that Mr. Me grabbed the battery, dropped it off to us, but then the game says, nope, didn't touch the ground, sorry. And the biggest, the biggest FU of all that is the fact that we spent 15 cents to do that, so. I go through these experiences, so you don't have to remember that so I'm not exactly sure how it's supposed to work you would think that it would just grab the battery and there you go but apparently the batteries have magical teleportation powers where uh doesn't, doesn't quite work like that so don't ask me I, I have no clue I guess if you try the own strat your that strategy on your own let me know how it works because Clearly, the most obvious and easiest to understand way doesn't make sense. Well, if we wanted to do a full clear, we are definitely doing it. Yeah, we need damage. We need tears. We are. We are. We've reached the point now where it's no longer a um, a want. It's a need for more damage. A need for more tears. I know, I know. Already, someone in the comments like, "Hang on a second, you say we needed de damage here. Well, you could have taken fat on mushroom. You can't complain about no damage." No, 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 Cletus. I already explained that. You're, you're clearly not paying attention. All right, the benefits of getting a slight damage up are heavily outweighed by the disadvantages of a movement speed down in a in a run like this. Uh, we wait. Did that open the secret room? It did. Well, got ourselves a free Zeke room. Uh, we need to get into the boss trap room, though, in order for us to make a full clear. Or at least guarantee the devil deal. 
which is going to be contingent on us actually getting a full charge, which we're not going to be able to get to do until now. Now, the problem is that if we use the if we use the, the golden teleport to get out of the curse room for half price, then we won't be able to go into the boss trap room. So we're going to have to eat the cost of the of the curse room. There's a vault there as well, which I don't necessarily want to go into yet. Because we might be able to save ourselves some keys there and kill two birds with one stone. But first things first, we need to make sure that we get to the devil deal. Oh, could you guys just, like, stop jumping and just... Just die? Thank you. Okay, so hopefully, 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 there is a... There's a charge beggar or there's some full charges with a reroll or something like that. Sharp plug would be ideal inside of the store. Ever shoot at me again. Full charge. You go D Bizzle, hook it up. Booster pack is booster bad, but gives us a little bit of value here. Reverse Emperor card. We can use that for a charge on um on we can use that for uh, in an emergency, we can use it for a single charge on our spacebar item. Another HP upgrade here. And nice. So we get flying and a second guppy item. That's bueno. Bueno, 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 bueno. Okay. So now what we do is we go into the cursed room. Okay. And then we get in there. We get in there for, for free because we have flying. And then we are going to be, I believe, taken into... The we should get taken to the vault, but but external information mod is saying we're going to get taken to the super secret room, and I don't believe that. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. We should have we should have been taken into one of the special rooms first before the secret rooms. Okay, so with that now, two of spades. We have to get into the vault, and the vault might have full charges. So all we got to do is get into the boss trap room, and that will take us to the I Am Error room. Now, I'm not willing to use all these soul hearts on the curse room and just die. Um, so, yeah. So we're just gonna we're just gonna have to ignore it for now because we don't have a we don't have a full charge. And even if we were get we were going to get into the boss trap room, we still wouldn't have enough kills in there Justice. for us to get a full charge on. Uh, on the teleport 2.0 and this is this is the crux of the issue with this item that i was kind of alluding to earlier which is that i don't personally feel that it's worth it that much let's get the emperor card out of the way real quick for the adversary great kill there by us a sack dagger Pageant boy, that's just super, super great, super duper awesome. It's really great. Thanks for the, to the seven cents. Yeah. An honor. Thank you. Um, judgment. I mean, we can play the judgment, I guess. I was hoping it was gonna be a demon judgment because that would that would make a little bit more sense. But even then, we still wouldn't be able to get a full charge in the uh, boss trap room. Luckfoot, hey, you know what? That's fine. There, we have plenty of pills that we can take. Well, okay. I'm gonna take the fool card. Like we're way, way, way past the point of getting um, boss rush. So, Luckfoot's gonna give us neutral or positive pills. We get tears up, which is pretty. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We got plenty of. I'm gonna be lazy here. We have plenty of, uh, ooh, okay. Well, I'm going to open this anyway, even though we don't need it right now. So now it becomes, there's a, there's enough HP on the ground for me to maybe warrant running into the boss trap room, but we still won't have the full charge is the thing.
Another like totally unneeded change. This goes back to one of the ear earlier questions of the episode. People ask me what was the most unneeded nerf. Uh, the change to the boss trap room and mob trap rooms. For sure. That was another really, really dumb one. It's it's still not going to be worth it. it. We're not going to. There's no reason for us to go into the into the and do the boss trap room here if we're not going to get a full charge and teleport 2.0. Let's put it this way: we're eager to switch our space prime at this point because now we're just kind of like losing value and not doing anything with it. All right, Lost Soul Buddy's back now. Check him out now. Speaker room is right here, right now, right now. How did I know that? Well, 5,600 some odd hours in the game basically uh, tells me. Also, did I bomb that? Did I bomb those rocks with um, with PJs when I had flying? I'm pretty sure I did. I was probably in autopilot mode just monologuing and talking I'm pretty sure that I had flying in there and I just used a bomb to to get to that chest that had uh, EJs it's definitely a me thing to do I get caught in my own head sometime about getting strategies and trying to formulate like where a run is going to ultimately leave us but you know all you know how I am by now okay let's stop trying to go for the four sack dagger plays here Backstabber is amazing. Ooh. Super Ball could be kind of pog here with Backstabber. Bouncing Tears hit targets at, at really weird angles. I could very easily proc Backstabber multiple times. I mean, Backstabber is just so, so strong. So we do not have a guaranteed devil deal here, and I'm not expecting one. Very easily, very obvious secret room to the north here. Baby Bender, doesn't really matter. Creep Creep. By the way, if you're wondering where that's, that invincibility shield came from, they came from Empty Vessel, because we have no red hearts. So on the 20, 40, or 0... On the, on the timer, that is when uh, that's when it's going to kick in. So I think that one, I think the next one appears at 20. I think. Oh, appears now. Wow, uh, we got another devil deal at 33%. We're only one away from uh, from Guppy here. Take the boy. Yeah, we take the boy. You need to have more damage amplification. You go for jello. I wouldn't mind playing a sack room here. Get a little sack room shuffle going. I really hate this room. Oh no, I saw buddy. Oh no. Also, what exploded over here? I'm pretty sure there was nothing that was explosive, unless I unless I'm tripping. Yeah, bounty ball is definitely owning for us. Remember, we're only one guppy item away, so a curse. First room makes sense. First justice card. We do get a damage upgrade here, thankfully. We needed one real bad. 
Um, reverse strength card doesn't do anything for us. We use a full card to save half of a soul heart. I did say that I would play a, I would do the sack room shuffle. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Bizzle need a little bit of a hookup here. Health up. Exactly what I was looking for, but there we go. So we didn't get anything. <laughs> uh but it's the experience that count. At least we got our HP back, I guess. Now, if I really wanted to optimize, I could have gone back to get the Swallowed Penny. I don't care that much, to be honest. Um, yeah, we're just going to keep on... Keep on rolling, baby. You know what time it is. Burp, 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 burp. So you might be wondering, hey, how come you still got Empty Vessel? Great block by Infamy. It's because we, even though we have a Red Heart container, it's not filled. So technically speaking, in the game's eyes, we don't have any HP still. Red Heart HP, that is. Yellow and the Bounty Tears plus Backstabber absolutely doing work here. Love to see it. I found the boss room. Um, what does today's map look like? It looks like... That it looks like a... Kind of like a... One of those drinking birds with a really long tail. Or a scorpion with its tail in the air right now. Either way, there's a tail. That's all I know. Look, I'm no, I'm no biologist. You want biology, go talk to Ryan. I saved your life there, lost soul, buddy. You better give me Sacred Heart. I don't want to fill the Red Heart container because obviously I don't want to lose our flying or our damage shield. Oh, mama. Get four and a half volt no. here. A mega gulp, which doesn't do anything for us. Um, and we can put some money back. Why not? Got over nine bucks. Do you know I mean like, or like, it looks like a, like a lean. Where did we, where did we get the HP from? Is that from the gulp pill? I don't know. Either way, four and a half volt, huge, 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 huge time plays here for uh, Jello. Okay, well now, now it doesn't look like anything. Health uphill, Luckfoot really doing work for us. Still looking for that item room. <sighs> People enjoyed the 4D experience story. I'm glad. Glad that people can laugh at my misery. <laughs> it was definitely 
A day to remember, that's for sure. Our fool card here. I can always use a fool card. Great item room. Just one time, just give it up. One time. This is supposed to be a very, very, very rare item room. Quote, item room. Yeah. You know how many times I've seen that item room this week? Twice so far. Once on stream and now once on YouTube. So Not so rare, is it, their game? You gotta love how many ways that a game like Isaac rewards the players, you know? Amazing. Like, the game just gives us too much sometimes. You, just, you feel bad, really. I lost old buddies as good as dead against Red Mom. I can tell you that right now. Being no backstabber procs either, which is kind of annoying. Oh, he lived. Lost soul, but he lives. And... Saved your life, lost soul, buddy. And we didn't even get the lump of coal. All right. Thank you, Lost Soul Buddy. <laughs> shot speed up. Have to take more shot speed. I definitely, definitely want to get my flying back. That's about the only thing that was keeping Echodama useful. There we go. You see the four and a half volt just is just giving us more and more charges. Oh no, that's all, buddy. Oh no. Refreshing the charge on Jello, which is nice. Definitely need more movement speed. If I'm going to keep forcing the sack dagger play, we need to get more movement speed. Like, I'm going to check the curse room here, even though it is going to hurt a lot. <coughs> but we go the Polaroid here. Go. I guess I should pick up those coins here, just because we do have the. Uh, do have the Blessed Penny. Blessed Penny gives us a chance to get a soul heart, half soul heart, every time we pick up a coin. And of course, it didn't that time because you know, the game doesn't want to doesn't want me to look too smart here. But many, many, many different ways of providing us with HP. Look at that. We just top ourselves right back up. It's a blessed penny. Yellow and Isaac working in tandem here. I'm in the groove. heart screws up a lot of things. More than one thing, actually. It screws up polar invincibility. It screws up our empty vessel. You know, hearts. There you go. Have at it, D-Bizzle. Screws up. Luckfoot definitely gets the MVP on this run here, I think. Soul 
Oh, got it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that way too late. Oh, we got another devil deal. We're getting so lucky with these devil deals, and we still can't get Guppy. I'm going to get rid of our HP here. Just so we can have flying again and empty vessel. By empty vessel, I mean polar invincibility. Super secret room is probably here. There we go. You bizzle, if you would, please, kind sir. Good. We're still flowing here. And us getting bloody Gus is also going to help out in a huge way. Okay. Soul buddy, oh no. Crawl space? Sometimes you can find crawl spaces underneath those cross patterns of rocks. I could be using Jello in all these rooms if I really wanted to, but we haven't really needed to. But in rooms like this, I definitely will. The thing is, is that our damage is still doo doo. Like 5.88 damage by Womb 2 is awful. Um, but we have the illusion of good damage because of the fact we have Backstabber. That's really driving our offense right now. There we go. That's what I like to see, baby. So, how did I know the secret room was there? Well, you look for the gap in the map, and then if you look, this room kind of makes an arrow pointing to the left. Comes Invicta with those crazy arrows again. I'm telling you, you don't spend 5,600 hours in the game and, and learn nothing, all right? Got to be the boss. Super secret room might be here. Sometimes this is a debate, though. I know we're going to get hit, so I'm not even going to bother with the eye lasers. Unless I have to. Unless they, like, make it easy for me. So, yep. Yeah, it was just as I expected and suspected. No guppy. Surprising nobody after we got two guppy items early that uh, we wouldn't get guppy. Oh no, lost all buddy. Oh no. Not lost soul, buddy. Not lost soul, buddy. Don't want the health up. Reason being, because again, we do not want to have the. Uh, we don't want to have our empty vessel or polar invincibility ruined. You, Hello pills? Yeah. Hello pills one time? Hello pills. Might have taken us somewhere. I don't know. Nope. Okay. This is also one of my most hated rooms in the game. People ask me, like, some of my most hated rooms... This would be one of them. I dude. There's no way it's up here. a nice block by infamy that time so it's going to be going south here I think we could take the tick I guess if we really wanted to I don't
Hey. Oh. It's just gone. Magical teleportation powers, like batteries, apparently. You know, Echo Echo Dama has not done too badly in this run. It's not caused as many issues as it usually does. But it's still problematic. It's not It's not exactly trash tier. It's also not exactly good tier. Brother telling me that we had the right way the first time we teleported out just randomly because I thought oh no way we're going in the right way no way wow Isaac was right here For perfect parry there we go Back dagger, baby. Okay, you see how fast the Jello army recharges there. The more Jellos you have, the faster you get more charges, which means the more Jellos you have, which means the faster you get. So it's a, it's a, a loop of destruction, essentially. There's some god awful items right there. No, I saw buddy, I know. Oh, we're going the absolute wrong direction, but I will go into the secret room. It's a greed fight. Right. Another world card in case the first one wasn't enough. Okay, we got to go this way anyway. You hear how fast Backstabber just recharges everything here because of the, all the percentage damage that we're doing. Keeper's Kin's kind of whatever at this point. You don't see too many rocks in the chest. Brother, let's stop getting hit by these cross shots. You know what, Demon Baby? Demon Baby's here putting in a little bit of work too. You know, D-Bizzle's been working hard as well. I've been seeing the, the mostly big-time plays. It hasn't been all big-time plays, but it's been mostly big-time plays. Go in with the Empty Vessel of Proct on the 0-0. Zero, zero. And that one right there, that was all Echo Dama's fault right there. And now we're just now we're just like shredding things with sack dagger. A great block there by Infamy. Probably shouldn't use Jello there, but we're we should get enough for a full charge. Belly button, which again is kind of nothing. So, at the end of the day, it was a uh, it was a pretty mediocre run that was capped off by a wild Jello finish. And uh, you know, if if Jello hasn't proven himself by now to be one of the best face primes in the game, I, I don't even know what to say to people anymore. It's he's just that good. It's like an incubus on crack. And there is a another band that. I probably wouldn't go see live, but maybe buy the album. I don't know. Thank you, on crack. Thank you for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you click the like button. Leave a comment down below. Have a great start to your midweek here. Remember to post your most upvoted comments and questions of the episode down below, and we'll check them out on next week's episode. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank the pages of mine like Herman Haynes, Shock Top, and Nicholas. 
If you'd like to have your name read at the end of an Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find at patreon.com slash Invicta.